Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at what I consider the most exciting handgun that Springfield Armory has ever launched. And it's a 1911, I'm going to show you shortly, but prior to doing that, I just wanted to bring out a small sample of some of the 1911s they already have available. Over here is the 1911 Ronin Chamber in 10 millimeter. It handles that 10 millimeter recoil like nothing. And over here we've got a modern featured emissary that not only looks beautiful, but shoots amazingly well. Here is an operator. I love the way this shoots. Also has some modern features there. And this is a Springfield Armory TRP tactical response pistol. It's highly polished. It's a beautiful shooter as well. And over here we've got the Ronin EMP. A little subcompact 1911 chambered in 9mm with a 9 round mag. And I have a special place in my heart for all of these. But what I'm about to show you is... I, I just think it's the most exciting one yet, and it has a lot to offer, so let me clear off the table and we'll bring it out here. September 1st, 2022, Springfield Armory is launching the 1911DS Prodigy. Check that out. The DS stands for double stack. It's a double stack 9mm 1911. Right here is a 17 round mag. Also ships with a 20 round mag. And with that in there, you can see that definitely extends the height of the pistol. But you get 20 rounds, and I don't think many people would complain about that. This is called the AOS system, Agency Optic System. They collaborated with Agency Arms to create this system. You can see that the, the optics rather low on the slide. It works great. Now, it can be shipped with a hex dragonfly or without. So if it is optic ready, and you can buy it with the hex dragonfly, very nice red dot, it will be an AOS system. If not, it'll just be a 1911DS prodigy but check that out the grip is super cool it, it's a polymer wrapped grip around the steel frame it's got some nice texturing there a little groove feels nice on the hand i i like the way that grip feels and i i think they did a great job with it you may notice well now you will it has a ambidextrous thumb safety all right lefties will certainly like that full pick rail the Slide is Cerakoted, Cerakoted black as well as the frame, forward serrations. The rear sights, which are serrated black, are heightened. You can see they're tall. And you get a perfect sight picture with the fiber optic front sight. You can see right through that glass and it co-witnesses incredibly well. Now let me talk about the Hex Dragonfly. It has a large window right there, one touch on, one touch off. When I took this out of the case, and shot the pistol for the first time, I did zero adjustments to the red dot. And that's the first time that has ever happened. I've never had that happen before. Zero adjustments. And that was, well, it made the range session quite enjoyable. Here is a Surefire X300 Ultra. And it'll slip on there. Very cool. And you can see that. All right, it, that, that forehand weight is nice. There is like no recoil, all steel firearm, but that additional weight on the forearm makes it even less recoil, if you could imagine. Now this has a five inch barrel. It is a bull barrel, okay, two piece guide rod, bull barrel. This is also available with the 4.25 inch commander size 1911 DS Prodigy. The MSRP is the same, and that's what you're wondering. How much is this thing going to cost? Well, the MSRP with this model here, AOS, with the Hex Dragonfly, $16.99. Without it being AOS, Agency Optic System, you're looking at $14.99. So $200. Bucks. And, you know, $200 bucks to have the red dot already on there and installed, to me, that's a price worth paying. With the commander size, it's the, the same MSRP. $16.99 AOS. Without the optic ready 1911, you're looking at $14.99. It has an extended magazine release. You don't have to adjust the grip. Easy access. 
drop that mag, perhaps throw in the 20 round mag. This is also available with 26 round mags, if you can believe that. It doesn't chip with that, it ships with 17 and 20, but it's also available with 26 rounds. Let's take a look at the trigger. I'm measuring a five pound trigger pull. I love the 1911s. I love the trigger. I think Springfield does a great job with the, their triggers and their 1911s. I really like the way that grip sort of wraps around the steel frame. Okay, texturing in the back. You have that polymer stippling all throughout. Ambidextrous thumb safety. But at the range is where it really shines. Let me go ahead and roll through some of that footage and you can check it out. Steel case tool ammo and the Prodigy. Whenever a new release is launched, people ask about holster support. What I have here is a black point outside the waistband holster made for the Surefire 300X Ultra. You can see it's a nice fit. I loosened up the retention screws quite a bit. I don't like yanking on the gun to try to try to get it out of the holster. I like it just like that. Nice, easy in and out. But the one thing this offers that I find pretty unique is that it grasps the belt okay your belt goes through there and you just it snaps in there it has this lever that will lock it in you can't take it off all right and you push that lever down pinch these tabs here and it comes off just like that but i'm happy to have it with this setup i think that the the surefire light is really nice and it works great with this combination I mentioned the Springfield Armory 1911 DS Prodigy has an MSRP with the AOS system and an optic included, $16.99. And that's a lot of money. I get it. It is. But in comparison to what else is out there, it's a steal. If you look at the Staccato models, if you look at the DS9 from Masterpiece Arms, if you look at the Sam Viper, the Terran Tactical put out that I reviewed, I said it was a great gun and it is a great gun, but they want eight grand for that and it doesn't come with the optic or iron sights. So if we look and compare, we will see that for what you're getting, it is a real good deal. For a staccato, you're looking at 2,500, three grand for the same pattern type of 1911. So I'm really happy to have it. I think they did a great job. I love the Cerakote Black. I love it that the, the Hex Dragonfly is, is such a nice optic. I like that you can co-witness I like everything about it. Bull barrel, easy, smooth shooting, nice trigger, nice grip. Magazine capacity, 17, 20, and 26 rounds are available. I, I just think it's a great handgun. And in my estimation, this is the most exciting handgun that Springfield Armory has produced to date. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.